Did you know that in recent years, shark sightings near popular coastlines have more than doubled? This isn't a scene from a Hollywood blockbuster. It's a real-world ecological shift happening right now, just beyond the waves where families swim and surf. The familiar image of a distant fin cutting through the water is becoming an increasingly common reality for beachgoers around the globe. This sudden proximity isn't necessarily a sign of aggression. Instead, it's a complex story about a changing planet and the intricate dance between humans and one of the ocean's oldest and most misunderstood inhabitants. We are sharing the ocean with these magnificent predators more closely than ever before. And understanding why is the first step towards safe coexistence. Real-life stories bring the data and scientific explanations into sharp focus. Consider the case of the lifeguards at Jones Beach, New York, during a recent summer. They had to order swimmers out of the water multiple times a day due to an unprecedented number of sand tiger shark sightings. Another powerful story comes from Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean, which experienced a tragic cluster of fatal shark attacks a decade ago. This led to a near-total ban on surfing and swimming. The crisis forced the community to confront the issue head-on, leading to extensive research into the local bull and tiger shark populations. In Australia, beyond the sensationalism, is a story of community response. In many Australian towns, local surf clubs and community groups have created their own grassroots alert systems. Using social media and apps to share real-time sighting information, a surfer who spots a shark can instantly warn hundreds of others. This proactive, community-driven approach transforms potential victims into active participants in their own safety, fostering a sense of shared responsibility. These real-world examples show us that while the risk is real, it is also manageable. Each news report is another chapter in our ongoing story of learning to share the planet with its rightful inhabitants. One of the most significant drivers behind sharks moving closer to our beaches is the relentless rise in ocean temperatures. As a direct consequence of climate change, the world's oceans are absorbing an enormous amount of excess heat. This warming doesn't happen uniformly. It creates new pockets of temperate water in regions that were previously too cold for many shark species. Sharks, like most marine animals, have specific temperature ranges they prefer. As their traditional habitats become uncomfortably warm, they are forced to seek out new areas that meet their physiological needs. This thermal migration means that species once confined to tropical or subtropical zones are now appearing with greater frequency in temperate coastal areas. For example, bull sharks, known for their tolerance of warmer waters, are being observed further north along the Atlantic coast of the United States than ever before.